Classic Tales, Arabian Nights. The First Old Man and the Hind. As the tension with the genie eased momentarily, the first old man began his story, gesturing towards the deer by his side. This deer, the old man said with a heavy heart, is my wife, transformed as a consequence of her own dark actions. I was once a prosperous man, happy yet childless, which led me to adopt the son of my favorite servant. Though my wife never openly objected, she secretly resented the boy and his mother. When business required my presence elsewhere, I entrusted their care to her, not knowing of her hidden mastery of dark magic. In my absence, she wickedly transformed the servant into a cow and the boy into a calf, then deceitfully told our steward that she had purchased these animals. Upon my return, she falsely informed me that the servant had died and the boy had disappeared. Heartbroken, I searched tirelessly for my son, never suspecting the cruel fate that had befallen him. When the festival of Barum arrived, I asked my steward to bring forth a fat cow for the sacrifice. The cow he chose, unbeknownst to us both, was the transformed servant. As I raised my blade, the cow wept so piteously that I hesitated, moved to mercy. Yet, my wife, indifferent to its suffering, insisted that this cow was the best offering we could make. Reluctantly, I handed the task to my steward. Astonishingly, when the cow was butchered despite its robust appearance, it yielded only bones. Disturbed, I commanded the steward to dispose of the remains. Later, I requested a fat calf for another sacrifice. The steward brought my adopted son, now a calf, who approached and wept upon seeing me. Unable to bear the thought of harming him, I instructed the steward to care for him well and to bring another calf, which was then used in the festival. The next morning, the steward approached me, troubled. He explained that as he led the calf home, his daughter had smiled, but then burst into tears. Upon inquiry, she revealed that the calf was my son, alive yet cursed. She wept for his mother, who had been sacrificed, and disclosed that my wife was responsible for their transformations. Realizing the depth of my wife's betrayal, I urgently requested to meet the steward's daughter. When we gathered at the stable, I implored her to restore my son. She agreed, but on two conditions, that my son would marry her and she would be allowed to punish the woman who caused this misery. I consented, asking only for my wife's life to be spared. With a spell and a splash of water, she transformed the calf back into my son. Overwhelmed with relief, I fulfilled her conditions and my son agreed to the marriage. As for my wife, she was turned into this deer as a just recompense for her cruelty. Now, I travel to find my son, who has since ventured far, with my transformed wife in tow, as I cannot trust her care to another, after all, that has transpired. As the old man concluded his story, the genie, moved by the deep injustices recounted, decided to pardon one-third of the merchant's life. After that, the second old man stepped forward, his voice resonant with conviction. Genie, he declared, I too have a story to tell, one that I believe is even more wondrous. If you find my story compelling, I ask that you spare another third of the merchant's life. The genie, intrigued, nodded in agreement.